Vote counting has ended in Burundi's controversial presidential election that has been marred by violence. President Pierre Nkurnziza is seeking a third term, even though the opposition says it goes against the constitution. Haru Matassa has the story. Things are tense in Burundi's capital, Bujumbura. There's been a lot of gunfire, explosions, grenades going off, and many people have been killed. This man, it seems, was killed and his body was dumped here in this neighborhood called Nyakabiga. It shocked a lot of residents who are really concerned that there could be more violence once a vote counting starts in the presidential election and once results are announced. Sewer workers in Mumbai and across India are finding themselves in a very dirty situation. Cleaning by hand without gloves, masks or breathing equipment, which is against the law. Faiz Jamil met with some of these workers. It's difficult to describe just how terrible and overwhelming the smell is. Just being this close for even a few seconds is nauseating. There are about 8,000 workers who regularly go down sewers like these. Cybercrime in the Philippines is on the rise, and especially child pornography. Now, the government is stepping up its fight against the exploitation of children online. Jamila Ellendogan reports. The rise of child pornography is alarming. Porn sites showing children rose by over 300% since 2011, according to government data. Online child abuse is the leading cyber crime in the country, and it is a crime that is difficult to fight. All this and more on Al Jazeera.